When you live on a lake, rainstorms are just gorgeous. Except for mud. What's up guys? Iggy here with Foutac Unlimited. It has been a very busy day and I welcome you back to the Holster Channel. And today we're making a uh, FNX 45 with X300. It's going to be a, uh, I think it's a thigh rig. Hold on. What the heck is it? Uh, Safari Lamp QLS system, so it's going to be a pretty quick build because we have a vacuum form for it with a trim jig. So literally the, the longest part is going to be putting everything on the mold, so that's going to be pretty quick. But what I'm also doing is a single mag carrier with a molly attachment on it, which I know I have not put on the table. Actually, or on the table, on the show. But this is what it looks like right here. Here's the holster, and here is what the magazine carrier is going to look like. So let's go ahead, quit the chit chat, and let's build it. And obviously the first thing we need to do is grab the mold. So it is an FNX with X300, which I have right there. So let's go ahead and grab that, grab the mold, head on back. And before I continue, I just want to say kind of how proud I am of myself. Um, I sat down last night or the other night and I went through every single order that I've had since January. It is now, what, June 10th? I don't even know what today is. What's today? June 12th, all right? It is June 12th, and I've had a little over 600 orders, not including gun shows, Facebook messages, texts, anything like that. This is strictly online through my website. Out of those 600 and some odd orders, I have 120 left. I have busted through all of them. This right here, this 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, these 13, not including the one that I'm working on. Uh, so 14 orders total is what I have left of February. And then, uh, then obviously I got to hit March, which, um, yeah, that's, uh, a good size pile, but anyways, uh, we're gonna. I'm, I'm keeping trucking, man. I'm, uh, you know, pretty much when the sun comes up, and then way after the sun going down, I am in here, and uh, I just gonna keep on pushing them out because my goal is to have uh, little to no lead time, and that way I could have more time to do other stuff and get more orders in, get more orders out, and take care of you guys. So that's what it's all about, right? All right, so. Uh, we are going to be doing, obviously, a QLS fork, level 2 hood, and this is going to be OD green, which is good because I just got a bunch of OD green in because I didn't have it, so uh, it's going to be pretty fun. All right, so let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this built so I can get it out the door, but on top of this, I also have a Glock 19... Uh, Inside the waistband uh, with claw and sidecar I got to build. But today we're going to showcase this build with the matching mag carrier. Uh, and we will, like I said, we'll bust this out. Uh, so with this, like so, I like to line up like middle, like right where the uh, rear sight starts. And we're going to need this blocking. Oh, not that. This blocking and this one. So we know that's going to be right about there because it has to clear the hammer and then clear the optic that's on top. And so we're going to go ahead and sit this right here, which means we need to put blocking underneath it like so. And then it needs a little strip under here like that. And I'm leaving that there. That way uh, it adds just a little bit of rigidity, uh, even though uh, we're going to be doing a gusset on this because I do a gusset on everything if it has a hood. Unless there's some random time. I know there was one I did that I didn't put a gusset on because it was very thick material and it was not bending. So I did not do the gusset on that. But this is just uh, aluminum blocking that I get from Home Depot. And I cut it to the shape I want. And double check that. Yep, I'm exactly where I need it. And with this here... Yeah, we can afford to go a little bit lower, 
So we'll go right about there. And then we'll go ahead and set that up. So let's see here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Probably going to need that. Yep, so that I'm actually going to throw right there. So that will help, like I said, with the strength. And this, I need something underneath here to stand it up. I think all my other blocking is too thick, so let's see what this is. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I'll take this, put this here, so that doesn't walk around on us. And then we'll set this up back again. Like so. All right. I'll go ahead and throw some of my favorite sticky substance down on here. I had an idea for a new patch, uh, so I'm probably gonna design it, and I'll send it out to the the boys to do that. I'm not gonna say what it is. I will let it be a surprise. But, and I won't say it's necessarily on the lines of these guys, but it's going to be pretty funny, which these are still available. I still have a few left if you uh, need these on FileTechLimitedLLC.com. Right. Let's get under here, otherwise the Kydex will wrap around underneath it. And then I'm going to mark, 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 because I like to uh, have the Kydex sucked down in. All right, now let's get this where we want that, and we, whoop, of course, are gonna throw some stuff around and get some awesome sauce. All right, so that's good right there, but it's gonna come up a little bit right there. I need something else, something kind of thick, but it will look good. Oh yeah, there we go. that down. If you notice, I have a uh, outline of the trim jig. That way I know where everything is going to sit, where I'm going to trim. That way I don't have to worry about uh, other, <laughs> like getting stuff outside of my trim jig. And this is pretty much good to go. Uh, like I said, this is going to be OD green. So I'm going to go ahead and get that OD green. And we are in the press here and on the table here. So, just the waiting game. I'm going to knock it out. And if you couldn't tell, it's all made. Looks pretty damn good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drill the retention and then drill out this line. And these three right here, I'm going to leave the slots alone because we cut that out in my laser. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. these up to a quarter inch because these are going to get eyelets in them and then the rest is just cleaning your hole
All right, so we have our gusset made right here, which I just traced the uh, the whole pattern over clear Kydex, whole specs. Drill it, quarter inch, sand it, and just make it so it looks decent. And then all we're gonna do is just throw the eyelets in right there and uh, call it good. So it's just four eyelets. Obviously, uh, can't fold your shell before you do it. And then sometimes you're gonna have to heat it up depending on the plane change of the two blocking that you have. But that's gonna make it so you have very little to no flex and you really don't have to worry about pretty much anything. But at this point, you gotta cut the slots. So I used to do it by hand, but not anymore. All right, those are cut, and generally before I fold the taco, I like to put the hardware in just because it makes my life easier. And you know the hardware I like to use is half inch threaded posts. And these are .4375 bushings, I believe. I redid my bench area, so I now have the big stuff underneath. A little bit more room to work with. It's not too bad. But there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just going to form it. And let's put the rest of it together. All right. Now that we are folded and ready to go, let's go ahead and get all of our hardware installed. So go ahead, throw some blue juice on these. All right, so I'm gonna start with our retention. Now I've, I've learned over the years that some pale horse molds require a quarter inch uh, rubber spacer and some some need a little bit bigger, like 3 eighths or so. Uh, so know your mold. I know this one that it gives a little bit extra when I do the 3 eighths, so I'm not too worried about this. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get the hood in. Get our half inch ones in there, and we're gonna check our hood not sticking. And what I do is I'll throw some rem oil right in there and then work it. So there's that. All right, we're good there. And install these. I just get them going because otherwise they fall out on you and then it sucks. Don't go too tight. You go too tight, it's not going to rotate on you. There we go. Function check, we're good. Along with, there we go. I'm going to wipe off the excess. There we are. And uh, where'd the blue gun go? There it is. Let's throw this in real quick. And put that right there. Plenty of room with the flashlight. Uh, yeah, with the hammer, I mean the flashlight. <laughs> Clean that hole on the outside. And use our Noga RC2000. Right, and that's going to be supplied hardware. Magnet is strong, and now I wiped off all the blue juice. There we go. A little bend. Check the function, it's good. And remember, like I said before, don't play with it because the more you articulate it, the more it'll loosen that um, the bolt on the other side of the hood. We don't want that. And there's one. There's two. Oh. 
Oh. That one doesn't want to work. Let's see what the issue is. I gotta get a tap. Hey, Biggie. Not throw it out. Hi, but not tap. Ooh, okay. Let's do this. All right, what the heck? Luckily, I do not throw out hardware. Don't tell me I got two duds in a row. Yay, now I have to <laughs> get this on. There we go. All right, here is one. That is done. That looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the mag carrier so you can see this combo. A few moments later. All right, and here we have the single mag carrier. It's gonna be OD green, but it's gonna have a molly. Now when you buy these, they're not made for that. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna modify it to do that. And by doing that, we're gonna need this guy's right here. Which I should have plenty on the table, I do. And I'm gonna grab some of my double-sided tape. Let's get out the first one. And I'm gonna put double-sided tape right over these holes that I've marked. I've done this before. All right, now over that hole, go ahead and repuncture that hole. And if you're like, Iggy, how do you know where to put the hole? Bada bang. So throw a molly over it and then just mark and then I drilled all the way through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to line up each of these over the hole. And then we're going to verify. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. And the same thing with here. And the reason why I'm doing two, or both sides, is uh, so the customer isn't stuck with like mags facing left or right. He could choose whatever side they want just by... Removing the removing the hardware and adding it where they want. So, all right, that's all she wrote. So now we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cut a piece of OD green. And I'll form that. And once it's formed, uh, we have a couple options. Uh, it, the double-sided tape worked perfectly. It sucked in a little nipple, so we know where to drill. I'm not gonna drill these out. I'm gonna drill one in the center. Which, when we do that, we're gonna mark it with this, so we know where to drill. But from this point, you have your choice. Now, I've done this before. I'm about to show you something. You can make a duplicate. So I have done this. I've used it. It works. Um, you know, so that is a lot faster than going ahead and doing this. But again, this is still a um, RC3. This is just a replica of this, so I don't have to keep doing it. But, you know, use your discretion. Uh, I honestly, I haven't used this in a long time because I just throw it on. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll throw it away or sell it. We'll see. But I know I'm going to start offering these, uh, but I'm going to go ahead, let's drill these. These aren't going to be too bad. The MRD section is going to be a quarter inch. And then these ones are regular. And like I said, so now the owner will have his choice hmm. 
<laughs> Bada bing. And we'll clean our holes. part is we have a trim jig there we go and same process as before but let's make it interesting we'll just do it real quick and next is to buff it and fold it. So I'm gonna grab a magazine for an FNX 45 and then just let's put it all together. Simple, simple. All right, here we are pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead, drill out the holes. I don't, I don't carry the, the actual hardware that fits through the MRDs because it's just another part number to add to my collection. So I feel like this is just easier. But anyways, um, we're going to do it just like so. So we're going to have it magazine uh, the bullets indexed towards the right. So we'll take these guys, throw them in there. A little dollop will do you. Yet. The retention screw, very, very important. Let's throw that. Oh. It's good right there. realized I put it on not the way I want it to. It's got to go this way. Let's re-add these. Luckily you catch it in time where it doesn't affect anything, as in it's not hardened. Okay. Here we go, because I want it facing that way, and by having it the way I had it, I can't do that. One, there's two, there's three, and there's one. And three. And there we have a Molly attachment for a double stacked 45 and 10 millimeter. Oh, that looks good. Now that these two holsters are done, it is time I move on to the third holster, uh, but I am not going to be filming that one uh, because the filming process dramatically adds a lot of time to orders. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, uh, but regardless, it is 10 o'clock at night right now. Uh, I'm going to do some editing, get this up for you guys to see it, and uh, I'm probably going to build that tomorrow, but I'll have a different video for you guys. So I appreciate all the love and support. Uh, I appreciate the comments and the ideas of what to put on the channel. Uh, as you can tell, anything that goes on my channel is uh, orders that I have in and build. And I have a couple coming up. I'm probably, uh, maybe I'll, I'll um, film this one. It is a dagger build with an XC1, which I thought was funny because I didn't know people still used XC1s. So uh, I got it mocked up right here, and that's going to be a QLS level 2 system, and that is next on the chopping block. So maybe I'll film that one. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments below. But until then, have some fun, make something nice, and um, 
yeah, stay humble. And a huge thank you to Holstersmith and KnifeKits.com. They're actually coming on board for our 10,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, which we are at 9,825, I think the number is. And so 175 left, and we're going to be giving away some uh, goodies or discount code. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. But I uh, appreciate all you guys, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you later. Love you. Bye.